Hi all, this is Rob Koblenz. Hey, I wanted to do a video showing how we automate our call to worship. So uh, with this particular song that we're going to start with on July 10th, we're going to start with We Praise You by Bethel. Just an awesome song. I love the lead lines on the electric. Uh, just a real cool song. Um, for this particular Sunday, I'm the only lead guitarist, um, but I'm also singing this and uh, just to make things simpler for the call to worship and to kind of keep the energy up i like to have some music in the background while i'm talking so with this particular song though it one I'll probably do it in two, time but i want to have track, flexibility two, to three, say what i want to say so this is how it starts it'll go eight measures of that um but maybe i want some more time um, and maybe i don't want it as loud so what i've done is i've created uh, call to worship um, well just some background music and it's utilizing clips from the existing song so for instance uh, for this song in the beginning um, there's the synth effects that starts and so um, when I'm about ready to start uh, after the welcome I'll hit my MIDI pedal to start it and so they'll hear that one two and three, the drums will come four. in. So what's cool is about, about Ableton, I love that. Like, So the drums is playing there, but I can change that to where it's only heard in the drum, you know, our ears, so that he's playing the drum part and not the track. Um, and I can do that with anything here. But I wanted to give a reference of what I'd like, you know, so that the musicians can play with this and uh, practice if they need to so I can like um, I can actually send this uh, export this little audio out so they can hear it if they wanted to practice with it but it's pretty simple so any one of these things I can send it just to our ears so they can follow along with it um, but anyhow that's kind of the idea here so let me just kind of show you one thing that I did learn that I thought might be helpful for those that use session view um, for instance, with this EG1, I took that, and basically what I'm doing is staying in, in, the, in A. You know, that's the song we're in, uh, the, the song is in the key of A. So I'm trying to just play A, though, so, so that we can start this song in, um, at any time that I want, and there's not, we're not in the middle of a lead line that's, you know, not playing A. So... Um, so what I've done for this, for instance, EG1, if I go to Electric Guitar 1, I think it's in verse, no, it's in the bridge, where it has this um, lead line that I want to play. Okay, so the only problem is, if you listen to it, there's like this uh, thing he does on a guitar before he goes into the repeating pattern. You know, well, I didn't want that. So what I did is I copy this and, um, you know, command I to make a new scene or, or just add, insert audio. I'll just show you how I did it here. Um, I'm just going to put it here. So with this particular thing, oh, let me unmute it. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, so and to get rid of that and to start it at, you know, right at uh, um, the time that I hit it, I needed to take some of this off. And it's sim it's really simple to do in Ableton. You just um, move this to right around here, I think is where it is. I'm going to move this one too. So it starts right away. So there. So totally limited, eliminated that beginning part. Let me show you. So again, just kind of move it right here. And if I hit play. Anyway, I thought that, you know, that's a cool feature. And it may not be so self-explanatory to everybody. Um, and you, in the needs of the end marks, you can you know, uh, cut off things at the end or put it wherever you want, have it loop um, if you wanted to loop it. Anyway, um, just very flexible in Ableton. So I'm going to delete this. So that's it. I even added a little bass drop in here. It's just, it just doesn't sound so great over... 
<laughs> doesn't sound so great on this little computer, but anyhow, um, it's just just to add something different. Um, and then, so I'll start it. Again, good morning, Grace Church. So glad you're here. Maybe read some scripture um, or One, say two, something. Three, four. Um, and then when I'm ready for to start the song, I'll hit the next MIDI pedal uh, to get it started. One, and then, two. Then the lead line will come in. So it's kind of seamless. And I do that for my transitions as well. I take the next song, which in this case is going to be King of Kings, and I'll take that and transition it. As you can see, I started here. Transition. So I'm going to do something where I transition out of this. We praise you and bring in clips from King of Kings, um, or I'll add in pads, you know, some something ambient to make this switch seamless um and uh that's kind of it so um oh yeah this thing i wanted to show you um so as we're One, starting here two, and it gets to uh real simple in this um for this particular clip double click it and make sure it's on clip and then i can bring you know the volume down and so, um, so anyhow, that's just um, kind of what I do for our transitions and our call to worship. And again, I can take any one of these and make it so it's only in our in ears, but not going out to the house. And that way, whatever musician can follow what they're doing. And uh, it's pretty simple, but it's a cool little feature with Ableton. We are the other campus that we have. Uh, they use playback software. It's a great software. And I love it. It's simple, but it doesn't quite have the flexibility of this. But this takes some time. <laughs> so that's what I love about playback. It's real simple software. And um, uh, yeah, so let me know if you have any questions or if there's things you see that could be done even better. I'd love to see what you guys do. Take care.